and welcome to today's campervan chat. I am at the rather magnificent, in my opinion, campsite called Camp For You near Wrocław, Poland. It's about 14 kilometers from the uh, city itself. You can get there by a fast train and there's uh, nice uh, cycleways to actually get to the city as well or to explore the countryside around. Anyway, the, you can see that in another film because what I want to do today is to actually talk about a vehicle which has just been released. It was released at a Caravan Salon at the, at the end of August 2019 and it is now available. As I understand it, this is the first mass produced hybrid camper van. Now when I say mass produced that is um, an unfortunate term of uh, phrase because nothing in motorhomes is mass produced because it's largely work that has to be done by hand. It's not like a factory of cars for example you get robots doing everything. So um, I prefer the word uh, which comes from Latin language and indeed German which is series production. So uh, this is a, a series production vehicle. The first one of its type. And unfortunately I didn't actually film it. Uh, it was the first press conference that was organized uh, there but then you go one after another after another you've got about uh, 25 to go to and by the time you get back to the first one to do the filming it's uh, it's too late. And uh, anyway I'll try and film it in the future but here's a photograph which I took on the very last day but I've got some more photographs as well to show you. Right, so as I say, it's the uh, first uh, series production vehicle of this type and it has a battery which works up to 50 kilometers. Now, you may think that, well, a 50 kilometer range isn't very good, but there is what uh, is called a range extender. That's to say a petrol engine. It's a one liter petrol engine, echo boost, and that will serve as a generator for charging the battery. So you can actually switch from one to the other if you want. Now this combination offers the advantage that the Globe van, uh, which the manufacturers claim is also suitable for everyday use, can be driven in cities using just electricity. Now if you've got a 50 kilometer range, for example, you can imagine that even if you had to travel from uh, north of London to the south, I don't know why you'd travel through the city and not you know, drive around the, uh, um, uh, the M25, but there, there, there again. But you could actually do that within the, uh, the range uh, if you wanted to. Now, um, another thing uh, which uh, would happen here, of course, is that when you brake and you step off the gas, uh, this will generate uh, energy through recuperation. And so that would become uh, rather energy efficient and uh, would reduce the uh, fuel consumption quite considerably. The combustion engine always runs at the optimum speed range with the maximum torque and supplies the rechargeable battery with power, which in turn supplies the electric motor with power, giving the uh, Globe van in total, this top range, uh, I said, of uh, 500 kilometers. The um, batteries can be recharged in under five and a half hours from an ordinary household socket or within three hours from a fast charging socket. So if you were using it on a daily basis, for example, or if you just left it at the campsite, you can put it on a, on a small a trickle charge and it will charge up. So the total output of the combination electric motor and combustion engine is uh, 92 kW at 126 horsepower. Now, uh, Alexander Leopold, who's the managing director of Deathlefts, he said the following. He said, as a friend of the family, that's the logo which Deathlefts used, uh, uses, uh, uh, as a friend of the family, we keep future generations in mind and therefore concern ourselves intensely with the, the topic of sustainability. Preservation of the natural environment is one of our most goals because caravanning and experience nature go hand in hand. For this reason we've been working for many years on electromobility which will one day be key to this. Now, um, one thing I do want to point out as well about electromobility is that uh, this is the third year running where death deaths has uh, brought something uh, unusual to caravan salon. Now. Um, Two years ago, we had the e-home project, which uh, I mean, a lot of nonsense I've been I've seen written in the press about it. But this e-home uh, project, the objective of this uh, was to to create uh, um, electric power, for, which would serve for everything within the van. So you've got your um, 
all the appliances inside. It doesn't power the, the motor at all. That's one thing I have to uh, point out. And uh, last year, in the 2018, they brought out a, a Coco Caravan, which also su uh, supplies electricity to uh, a, a, a vehicle which is driving it. So the, the first uh, hybrid vehicle, so they've op opted for a version of a motorised leisure vehicle suitable for, uh, for both use. And I think another thing I should say about the 50 kilometres actually, that would include, I think, the overwhelming majority of people have to actually go to work. Uh, unless you, you know, I mean, maybe you are driving more than 25 kilometres, but I don't think there's that many people who are doing it. And not only that, I mean, if you're driving... Uh, let's say 50 kilometres to work, you could actually recharge it uh, while you were at work, possibly. So the uh, car can actually um, have uh, four people in it, four belted positions, and so you can also sleep four in it as well, which possibly is the objective of the exercise. The, uh, it's five, almost five metres long, two metres wide, and so it's got the footprint of a normal passenger car. The pop-up roof conceals a, a, a bed which measures 190 by 110 centimetres. It's got a mattress and plate suspension. Windows with mosquito screens are with uh, for ventilation uh, will allow you to uh, get some air into the van while you sleep. I'm assuming you're on a campsite, of course, because if you're not, then you might not want to leave the windows open. In the kitchen unit, there's a two-burner hob and a sink, as well as a 16-litre compressor cooler. Uh, so you can actually make yourself stuff to uh, eat and there is a uh, storage uh, within the van itself. You can have a meal at the table or sit around the table because the table can be uh, f fixed. It's uh, easily attached to the kitchen unit when required or, or attach the rear storage compartment when not in use. Thanks to the standard rotating driver and passenger seats, you can actually have captain's chairs to give them a normal word. Uh, you can, four people can obviously sit round the table. Now the uh, bench also uh, turns into a bed, so it's a, a, a further 190 by 90 centimetres bed. Actually, I said four then, maybe I was exaggerating a bit, and that's really more of a bed for th uh, one person, 90 centimetres. Well, maybe you could fit two children in it or something. So the bench can be adjusted lengthwise, as you can see in these uh, photographs, and can also be uh, removed completely if more extensive transport tasks are needed. The floor of the Globe van is a rigid insulated sandwich floor with a PVC coating and a dark wood look. In combination with the silver grey furniture look with anthracite coloured contrast, the result is I think rather fresh and uh, modern interior uh, and certainly is aided by the uh, LED illumination uh, the strips under the roof so uh, now um, what about the power well there is an onboard battery as well so you can use it off-grid uh, well the company says a few days I think you'd be looking if you're getting a few days out of it you might be able to use it for a few hours uh, but um, all the same, there is a, an onboard battery which can be uh, upgraded to something a bit larger if you wanted. Okay, right, so I hope that was of interest. I'm sorry I don't have a film. I'll try and get a film of it in the future. And um, uh, I do, have, however, have films of lots of other things, including the Death Left's e-home. I've got several films of that, because I, whereas I, I appreciate that these, this van covered in solar panels isn't going to power the motor. Uh, power the engine if you like uh, but in the future who knows maybe it will be possible at present in ideal conditions and i mean ideal conditions with the sun uh, coming at the right angle and for sufficient hours you could possibly get five kilometers worth of travel out of the van if it were connected to the motor but who knows in future maybe solar cells will become more um, efficient and that will uh, that, that will be possible so thanks very much for watching i hope you found this interesting please uh, do uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so that does actually help me and also uh, if you'd like to actually give some support to the channel through patreon i'd be very grateful thank you very much